County executive is now speaking out against a plan to bring up to 200 Syrian refugees to the city of Pontiac. A developer purchased land and wants to build a community next spring. 7 Action News reporter Aaron Baskerville is live in Pontiac tonight with much more and reaction to this major controversy. Aaron. Carolyn, you said it. This story is not going away anytime soon. We first told you about it on Monday. And now the Oakland County executive is not trusting the vetting process. Even the FBI director says we can't vet them. I mean, we don't, it's not records. So how are we going to know? How are we going to know who these people are? It continues to be a dividing issue in Pontiac. The chance, or how others see it, the threat of Syrian refugees calling the city home next year. The Oakland County executive firmly against this idea. They're putting in a village in right in the middle of the city of Pontiac, and that will attract more over time. And I'm just concerned, even among the families, that he says they're families, that um, you know, these, are, these, these, these terrorists are hit Paris. They had families. A developer tells 7 Action News his team purchased 120 lots for $250 each behind the old Franklin Elementary School off Franklin. The goal to turn the area into a neighborhood for up to 200 Syrian refugees, construction starting by next May. Just blindly and blatantly asking people to deny people coming just because of a few crazy people that have done outrageous things is, is very unfortunate. He also tells us he will not go through with this without the city and neighbors behind it. The mayor of Pontiac is not against Syrian refugees coming to her city, but like many others, she wants to be assured by the federal government and the governor they will be fully screened and security will not be an issue. There's also this humanitarian crisis that's going on and that uh, we do want to support uh, the efforts of people who want to find uh, freedom and uh, this country is made up of immigrants. The Oakland County Treasurer also weighing in tonight. He says, quote, Mr. Patterson's comments politicize a project that will bring much needed economic development in Pontiac and provide housing for people desperately in need who have undergone exhaustive background checks. Well, the mayor also tells me tonight there will be at least two different community meetings where residents will have the chance to voice their opinions. For now, we're live in Pontiac, Aaron Baskerville, 7 Action News.